Hello everyone, welcome to Scaria.com. I'm Dr. Hina Khan and today we're going to discuss uh, a very important topic which is the retina. So retina is a very important anatomical structure of the eyeball. Uh, it is basically a neurosensory organ. It is the end organ for the vision. The main function of the retina is to the, relay the messages to the visual cortex that of the brain. Uh, that is again responsible for the interpretation of the images that are formed at the retina. The accommodative reflex, again, uh, which whenever there is the dim light reflex needed, that is again uh, caused due to this uh, structure, this neuroepithelium, that is, that is what we're talking about today. And that is the main function of the retina that we're going to talk about. Now, there are a range of diseases that are related to this important neuropigmentary epithelium or this neuropigmentary layer that is present over there. So we're going to discuss these uh, diseases specific, uh, specifically focusing on the congenital disorders uh, that are related to this uh, retinal structures that we're going to talk about uh, in this particular lecture. So over here, uh, we're going to start off by giving you the outlines of the gross anatomy uh, that is uh, particularly or that is peculiar to this uh, retina. Obviously, whenever we're talking about the gross anatomy, we are going to have the clinical uh, relevations of this gross anatomy along with the structures that are present over there. So knowing these structures and giving you the details towards why it is important to learn about these structures, uh, their location and their functions, uh, their overall structure and their functionality. So that is again very important. Mainly we'll be discussing obviously uh, the optic disc that is quite visible whenever we are looking at the retina and uh, on the other hand we have macula. So any abnormalities that are related uh, to this optic disc and this uh, and on the other hand we have maculopathies. That is a word basically indicating uh, the diseases that are peculiar towards the uh, macula. So we'll be discussing that over here, giving you the interesting details of gross anatomy of this uh, retinal structures out here. Then we'll be moving on to the microscopic examination of retina. So that is again, uh, uh, that is again very elaborated. The microscopic features of retina are quite elaborated and one should know the basic 10 layer anatomy or histology of retinal structures. So we'll be giving you the details towards the uh, layering and what are the names, what are the primary layers uh, of the retina whenever we are looking at it under a microscope, uh, what will be the particular features of the retina that we're going to look at. Any abnormality at a microscopic level can be detected only if you know the normality of this uh, particular tissue. So that will be discussed over here. And then we'll move on to discuss the congenital and developmental disorders that are particularly related to the uh, retina of a human being. So one should uh, know that what can be the congenital disorders or the by birth defects that can be faced by a newborn uh, and how one should investigate these congenital disorders. Obviously, we'll be dividing or we'll be classifying these retinal disorders according to the structural abnormalities that are present over there. Uh, mainly we have the optic disc, mainly we have the, um, uh, we have the maculopathies that are present over there, we have the colobomas that can affect the macula, that can affect the retina on a whole or primarily the optic uh, disc. The optic nerve uh, abnormalities will be discussed over here. So these are the major congenital uh, developmental disorders uh, that will be discussed over here in this uh, lecture. We'll be discussing the congenital diseases of the optic disc primarily because that is going to affect the vision of the uh, baby or the vision of the child. So if you have the optic disc congenital abnormalities, one should know how to investigate such uh, children and such newborns and how to basically give out the final diagnosis uh, relating to this optic disc uh, pathologies. So that will be discussed over here and then we'll move on to the congenital diseases of the nerve fibers. So particularly we can have the nerve fiber defects over here 
and then we have the vascular elements that will be discussed over here and then finally we have the retina proper diseases uh, that will be discussed over here in this lecture. Uh, we have the maculopathies, which will be discussed in detail, as I've already mentioned, all the congenital disorders. So we have a range of uh, ophthalmological pathologies uh, that you can subscribe to on our website. Uh, thank you for watching and get access to watch the complete lecture.